So, similar to the last video, this video will be half audio, a half video demonstration of this next important concept, which is the physics behind optical fibers and total internal reflection. Up till now, we know what fiber optics are, we know the different types of fibers, we even know how they work, but there's still many unanswered questions. Such might include, well, light enters one end and comes out the other, but what actually happens within the wire? Another question might include, how come the light stays within the medium? Or, how come no energy is lost? Another question might be, what are the two diagrams in front of me about? Here's where physics comes into play. The basic principle of light refraction and total internal reflection clears up all confusion. But first, let's briefly go over through the principle of reflection. Reflection is the change in the direction of a wave at an interface between two dissimilar media, so that the wave front returns into the medium in which it originated. Common examples include light reflection, sound reflection, and water waves. Now, there are two laws of refraction, reflection which state that number one, the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence, and number two, the incident ray, the normal, and the reflected ray all lie on the same plane. Now the basic principle of reflection is explained in the left diagram. So, here we have an incident ray, or a ray that's going to hit the surface. This is a totally reflective surface. No light will pass it. So the incident ray approaches, 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 and bam! It hits the reflected surface. But instead of going through the surface, it reflects. And as the law of reflection states, the angle of incidence has to be equal to the angle of reflection. So the incident ray approaches the medium, hits it, and reflects off the medium. That is reflection. Now refraction is slightly similar. It's the bending of light as it passes at an oblique angle from a material of one refractive index to a material of another refractive index. Now, when the incident ray hits the new medium, some of the light is reflected, but most of it actually passes through the medium. If the initial refractive medium is more refractive than the new medium, the light will bend away from the, medium, away from the normal. But if the initial refractive medium is less refracted, the refractive than the new medium, it'll bend towards normal. And finally, the principle of total internal reflection. And here's where the right diagram actually comes into play. The angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees is called the critical angle. The larger the index refraction of a material, the smaller the critical angle. Or the denser the material, the smaller the critical angle. For angles of incidence larger than the critical angle, all the light is reflected. And this is called total internal reflection. And for total internal reflection to occur, number one, the light must be traveling in the more refractive medium, and number two, the angle of incidence in the more refractive medium must be larger than the critical angle. Now, fiber optics are made of special plastic and special glass fibers that are very, very dense. Light can be transmitted through one end and come out of the other end with little loss in intensity. So let's go and look at the right diagram. Light enters through one end, and the material is so dense that the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. So it bends, 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 and comes out of the other end. This is why they are so efficient, because almost no information is lost based on the principle of total internal reflection. This, ladies and gentlemen, explains the physics behind optical fibers and total internal reflection. If you didn't catch any of this or would like to view the diagrams again, please scroll down this web page, as what I've just stated in this video is going to be detailed in text format with these two diagrams.